All right. So this is gonna be um, just an episode going back. Um, I I've uh, I, I stopped playing for like a week, and well, I should say I I finished this last thing of the ending. You know, I went and talked to everybody, and I came back, and then. You know, in a, I just I went to test. I went to check the uh, how the sound was working because I noticed there was some buzzing with this microphone. Really, really need to get a new microphone, like a real one. But um, anyway, I realized that you know the whole last episode that I did had no sound my voice or the game so that sucked so I basically have to do this whole thing again and I'm gonna try to just go quicker through it gonna back up off of the reading a bit still gotta hear what all these guys have to say though cuz they is important and there's one other person hello Frisk Alphys updated my phone upgraded I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori, that's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned and also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You're more of a bonehead. Haha, <laughs> wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Chris, do not feel left out. I have been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time, do you not? Yeah, you never answer it. Notice you received a text from Torio. Dear Frisk, Sans and Alphys are teaching me how to text. I'm learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. Now turn your head to the left. It's a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Torio. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room you will receive another. Um, I think you can talk to each person three times. Well, two, and then the third time is just them telling you to go venture around and talk to people. What's with that weird expression? Sans, did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with me? And then asked to call me mother? <laughs> oh boy. Wow, Frisk, this really puts our relationship in a new light. Hey, Tori, do you have any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever. But I think that's... But I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It's hard to think what anyone... It's hard to think anyone would want to flirt with me. Aww. <laughs> oh, Tori, oh. You have no idea. It's either uh, referring to Asgore or making a meta joke about the internet and um, oh my god, I can't believe I'm drawing a bit. What is it, Rule 37? I think. So I don't tend to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working. But you aren't working! I know, and it's taking all my concentration. Uh, okay, shut up. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Oh, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? And what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. Truly, this is the worst possible ending. Seems like you really botched your quest, Frisk. 
But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey! That's true. Why don't you go take a walk around? Frisk, why don't you fly? It's faster. Yeah, Frisk, why don't you fly? Hmm, flying sounds a little dangerous. But they can't fly! Not with that attitude. Hey! <laughs> So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out and, um... No, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to being losers. <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's an anime? Oh my god. Frisk, please. Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. You see, it, it's like a cartoon, but... No contest. <laughs> so it's like a cartoon... But with swords? Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Hold on, uh... I think I have some on my phone. Yeah, yeah, if it came down to it... Like... Yeah, swords are way cooler and better and... And better than guns. It just... They just are. It's like it's like one of the constants of the world is that guns are superior. I mean, fuck, Freudian slip. Uh, swords are better than guns, except at killing. Oh, uh, that's the that's the wrong. Uh, never mind. Golly, are those two robots kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Alphys, Alphys, do you think we can watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses or fighting princesses? I'll, I'll see if I can manage to find anything like that, Undyne. Yay! <laughs> Just that, yay. Psst, Frisk, um, you gotta tell me. Do you think Asgore and Toriel are, uh, ever gonna get back together? Nah, man. She's... She's done. Yeah, that's what I thought. A woman can dream, though, right? And write fan fiction. A lot of fan fiction. Second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fan fiction of all? Uh, don't tell anyone I said that. Cause I'm gonna post it online! Yeah! Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore, that's not what I meant! Frisk, I just realized. Now that we aren't fighting each other, I can finally ask you, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Really not a tea person. Oh. Okay. Oh. Frisk, stop! You're breaking his big burly heart! Um, it's okay, Undyne. My heart's already broken. 
Asgore, stop! You're breaking my big burly heart! Yeah, Asgore, don't break Undyne's heart. That's my job. Oh my god! You're going into the trash! Can I go in the trash too? Sure, Papyrus! Guess I have to go in the trash too. Oh, may I enter the trash as well? Uh, okay. Am I invited to the trash? Sure! Why not? On second thought, do not put me in the trash. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking. As. er, uh. As. Toriel wants nothing. She doesn't even want to be in the trash with you, dog. Yeah, go take a walk. I'm gonna do the the texty phone stuff on the way back. Hmm. Cause um, you get a new text to read every room like this. Dear Frisk, how are you? You've been wandering around for quite some time now. I hope you're not getting into trouble. Only kidding. LOL. Sincerely, Toriel. P.S. Do not get into trouble. So, I have planned for this, um... I really feel bad about the audio quality, like, it's still not great, but I'm at least, you know, have done something to kind of balance the two, so, you know, I never wanted to be, you know, have my voice be, uh, overshadowing the game, but I also don't want to get lost in it, you know, I want like a, a balance. To know most Let's Plays that I watch, people of, they, um, <coughs> I don't know, it seems like the volumes, like, kick down at least 50%, if not more. And then it's just, uh, but I mean, it, I know it's supposed to because, like, they're doing commentary, I just, I don't know, I feel like there's a better balance to be had. Do 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 do. Fuck. I always go that way. What? Do you want a rematch? Yeah, little guy. I'll remember your name a bunch of times. Because that's how you are defeated. Um, yeah, hello, fairy man. Uh, yeah. Eat a mushroom every day. Why? Then I know you're listening to me. <laughs> Thanks, river person. Let's see. Can we play he we now we can play monsters and humans with real humans. Ace Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ace Wolf can take a break to buy some pants. Good on you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kind of mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff throughout the game you can do to make, you know, like different choices you can make and um 
One of them is right before the fight with Undyne. You can, like, when Monster Kid runs away fr from you on that bridge and he trips and falls, you can not help him up. And then when you go and talk to him there, he'll just kind of... I think he just, he says something like, um, just leave me alone. Like, like he just wants nothing more to do with you, because, because you didn't save his life. Oh, and there's a switch in this tree. That does the puzzle solves the puzzle for you if you ask Papyrus for help. He says something like Yeah, if if you're having trouble solving the puzzle, I built this switch to make it easier. Wait a minute. Uh because it's the one with uh ball. It's a plate of lukewarm spaghetti. Seems like something tried eating it and just gave up. Yeah, all the mouse traps, the mouse has managed to get out and, like, get at them. It's a note from Papyrus. Seeing as the spaghetti is still here somehow, I hereby donate it to the public. It's like a playground for your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> Papyrus. Also, there's apparently a, a rare chance for this puzzle to be a nightmare puzzle. Which I didn't really understand. Like, I, I looked at it, and... The only difference is on the right, in that gap, like, opposite Icy there. There's a, a snowman. Its name is Nightmare, or something. But that's it. I think, I, I don't, you know, maybe Sans says something about it. They still are not here. These two booths are never used except to learn how to fight the dog, dog and me and dog Aressa. Fuck you all. Falls a dick. Now, we right. So, um, for the bonus episode, I'm gonna go through this and um, I guess still essentially do a pacifist run, but I'm only gonna record the bits that. You know, like, if you save it and then go and kill Papyrus instead of sparing him. And then undo it and go back and spare him. You know, so, like, like keep, it, keep the run going. But just kind of to see what happens when you kill certain... Or when you kill, like, bosses... And it'll just be a mashup of them. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna talk over them. I think I'm just gonna shut up and do them. Do do do. I hope the audio is recording this time. look at the timer before I started walking so I'm gonna assume I spent like two or three minutes talking and 
so that's like 17 minutes I've spent just trying to walk back here. Hey, the third frog came back. Or the fourth frog, I guess. Looks like the cheese has a nibble taken out of it. Yay! Oops. The exit's open. Guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push, pumpkin? I would. But every time I walk into you, you just talk. Stupid puzzle. Oh, and then, uh, after that bonus episode, I will do a genocide. grown into a thoughtful and conscientious person. Whether that was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud. Ribbit. Yeah, you're a good dude too, Frog. You're my buddy. Do 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 do. Sorry. <laughs> Screw you, dummy. Almost there. I wonder why these ruins, like... Hey! Azrael's not here anymore. Why the hell not? Man. Oh well. I'll see if if I didn't um, delete the audioless thing. The first time I tried doing this, I'll see if I can cut talking him, talking to him out of there and splooch it into here somewhere. Let me just tap it on the end. It'll be easier for me. Damn it, that's like over a half hour of walking. All for nothing. Man, why isn't Azrael there? I didn't save it after the first time.
I also found an old, um, like, an old backup from a computer many, many, many years ago. And I found a bunch of ROMs that I forgot existed because I actually have amnesia and I, I forget things exist. Um, one of, one of the, uh, some of the games I was thinking of doing upon finding that were like, um, one of the Kaizo Marios, see if I can do that, how far I can get into it anyway, um, there's also for Super Nintendo a Dragon Ball Z RPG. That I believe only goes up to the Frieza saga. I don't know if they ever made a part two of it, but I remember the first time I played it, it was like uh, there, there either wasn't an English translation for it, or I was unable to find one. So, I, I had to play through it, just not, you know, I, I don't speak a, a te any, I speak none of any Asian language, like, Japanese, Chinese, uh, Korean, Mandarin, etc. <laughs> Jesus Christ, still walking. Can't believe Azrael wasn't there. What a dick. He had to go stop existing. Oh. Alright, I did something in Waterfall before. Don't remember what. All oh, right, uh, Napstablook and Metaton. Apparently, A.K.A. Hapstablook. Or else that's just a joke that uh, Papyrus made. Hapstablook, the happiest ghost. I think the elevator in um, Meditan Plaza or whatever the hell it's called, the, the resort, I think the hotel, I, the elevator there is non-functional still.
because I don't think he goes anywhere. Almost there. Then I can start my apologetic, um, my apologetic genocide route, where I kill them and then go back to the save point and be like, sorry, I didn't mean to kill you. Yeah, I don't have any friends. No one likes me. Stay quiet. Oh, I did get better at the um, the ending credits or dodging them. Oh my! Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? Sunlight's so nice. <laughs> And the air is so fresh, I really feel alive. Hey, Sands, what's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wow! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it's beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? What happens if I say no? It's okay, Frisk. I've got you covered. If you don't want to be the ambassador, I can do it for you. If you say yes, then he just jumps up to be your mascot and goes and makes a good first impression as your mascot. Well, someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hand on, wait up. Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Scorn. Oh, gotta go. Seems that everyone's quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? Oh, I want to stay with you. So I will. Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It's a good thing you took so long to change your mind. Oh, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, I'll do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright. Now come along. Everyone is waiting for us. If you say you don't want to, it, um... Instead of the end scene that we get, we'll, we'll just be a picture, like a Polaroid, of, y of Frisk and all his friends. Pretty unremarkable.
sands. Lesser dog. I've never been a fan of end credits, like of anything. Which has always been annoying because I am. Uh. Excuse me, a fan of stuff they hide after the credits. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of names. There's Metaton, Napstablook. Burger Pants and Shiren. Burger Pants was the vendor in uh, Metaton Plaza. That lovable little volcano man, or whatever, probably asexual. Still awesome, he's my hero. They're doing it. That's what my imagination says. Living with their families. this recording I'm gonna do awful also the first time when this happens Azrael like threatens you for a second and then says we haven't even done the special thanks yet and then doesn't hurt you and then this happens You do get something for clearing it. Shit! Name redacted. Oh shit. Damn it! Called it. Fucker. <laughs> the best I got was like two names and one of these whole wheels cuz I got stuck like that the first and last parts are easy enough it's just this mm. Do 
do do do do do If you make it through without getting hit, that, uh, room, that door in, uh, in Snowden opens. And there's just, uh, it's like a developer's room. It's just Toby Fox as a dog. It's, like, mildly amusing. There we have it. That's the dog in the developer's room. It's also the developer's, um... I want to say insignia, but... It's like their avatar for being online. It's a little dog, Toby Fox. If you wait a little longer, he goes to sleep, and that's all that happens. I've I've let it sit idling for like a couple hours, and nothing different happens. So I'm gonna go get to work on the uh, the bonus episode. God, I cannot think. Wait. I thought he was gonna lay down there. It's gotta loop one more time. Friggin' go to sleep. There he goes. Alright, later. <laughs>